central bank will release its latest monetary policy statement on Wednesday, the 3rd of June. So keep watching this economic calendar to find out more. I'm Sam Meredith. Coming up first at 6am is the UK nationwide house price index for May. The index came in much stronger than expected in April, posting its largest growth in 10 months. The final version of Eurozone Services PMI for May follows at 8. Preliminary estimates suggest the index has lost 0.8 points as growth in the French index was not enough to offset a decline in the German data. UK Services PMI for May will be available at half past 8. The index surprised on the upside in April, rising to an 8-month high. Two news releases regarding the Eurozone economy in April are out at 9, including the closely watched unemployment rate. The rate stood unchanged in March, defying expectations of a slight decrease. Retail sales slipped in March in light of a strong drop in fuel sales. The highly anticipated ECB monetary policy statement is scheduled at 11.45 and, as always, President Draghi will be holding a press conference 45 minutes later. No changes in the monetary policy are expected, but Draghi's comments often cause plenty of volatility. Coming up next at 12.30pm GMT is a US trade balance for April. Trade deficit rose to a six-year high in March as a strong dollar contributed to a surge in imports. The high-importance US ISM non-manufacturing index for May will be available at 2. The April index came in stronger than expected as it went up from 56.5 the previous month. Federal Reserve will publish its latest beige book at 6. The book will provide some data behind the Fed's monetary policy decisions. And last up at 1.30am are two news releases regarding the Australian economy in April, including trade balance. Trade deficit narrowed less than anticipated in March in light of lower iron ore and coal prices. Retail sales saw limited growth in March as food, household goods and clothing retail all inched higher. And that concludes the economic calendar for Wednesday. Our next release will cover the most important news releases for Thursday. So see you then.